Today's video is going to be a quick one because we're talking quick reference card in Mastercam. Now, in case you're wondering what the quick reference card is in Mastercam, this is it for 2022. This first page is a list of keyboard shortcuts. And if we scroll down to the second page, we have a list of functions. Now, for the most part, those that are using these quick access cards are really only after this stuff up in here, this, this list of keyboard shortcuts. And when I started getting into this video, this is what I was most interested in. I wanted a list of the, the default Mastercam uh, keyboard shortcuts and I, you know, print it out and have a reference on my desk. Now, this quick reference card is included in your Mastercam install. You just need to know where to find it. And for that, we're going to go to our install drive, which for me is the C drive in our program files. We're looking for our Mastercam install 2022 for me here. We're then going to head into the Mastercam folder and we're going after documentation, selecting our language. And then finally, here is the quick reference card. Yeah, you go into there, turn left, not too far. Then right, go inside, you'll find them on the left. So that can be a bit much to remember as far as navigating to where this uh, card is located. So I'll leave a link below that you can click on to download. And then the point being that once you've downloaded it and you've got access to it, you can now go ahead and print it off. And this is where I came into a problem. So uh, if you think back to many, many years ago, uh, I think these quick access cards used to be included with Mastercam, like back in the day when you used to get, actually get uh, the DVDs in a box. I think one of these cards would actually come in the boxes or or even resellers would have these on hand and just, just hand them out. And they were the same size as your uh, tap drill charts that you get from uh, tool distributors. So basically they, they were not, uh, these things were not printed out on a full sheet of paper. So what I wanted to do to, to, to print these out was print it so that one of these, you know, side one here being this guy here and then side two being this over here would fit onto one standard eight and a half by 11 sheet. So when I, I did that, I printed one off in just black and white to, to do some testing. Uh, and this is, this is what I got here. This is the, the printouts. So you can see they both fit onto one sheet. Um, the problem I talked about is that the font on this is extremely small. Now, maybe it's just me and my eyes are old and I can't see anymore. But usually a, a quick reference uh, type document chart or whatever, I would not want to have to pick it up and squint to see information. I want to just leave it on my desk, glance over, see what I'm after, and then use that information. So this for me at this size at this print resolution uh, at this size just does not work now for my own sanity here um, i remember using these cards in the past and there was never an issue for me to see the text so i had to go back and look at an older one to to prove that this mastercam 2022 card was actually having smaller font so here's what uh, a 2017 one used to look like look at the size of the font compare that to 22 22 it is definitely smaller Now that I've got that out of the way, it's not just me. Let's go ahead and see if we can fix this. So the first thought is, let's just open this up, edit the existing text there, make it a bigger font and be on our merry way. Uh, the only problem is that these documents are password protected, so I can't go in and edit the font. So we're left with one solution and that's to go ahead and make our own quick reference card. Now I'm not gonna bore you with a video on how to create a Word document of a Mastercam a keyboard shortcut card, uh, but I'll give you the, the gist of it. Uh, basically, if you want to get the icons, you can get them in the customize menu here. You can get all your icons from right here, do a screen grab, crop it in. If you don't know what all of your keyboard shortcuts are, you can come down into this link here and go through one by one and try and find them, but there is a better way. And that's, again, doing a file explorer option here. We're going to go to our documents here. This has to be your user documents. This time we're looking for the My Mastercam folder. Clicking on Mastercam again. Going to config and you need to have your file extensions turned on and you're looking for the mastercam.kmp file. Now you can right click on this and open it with any text editor. Notepad will work fine. And this will give you a list of all of your keyboard shortcuts that are currently programmed, default and customized. So a combination of the information in here, a combination of the images from the menu, you can throw that into a Word document. And let me just pull that up now. And your result will look something like this. Now, keep in mind, I've got dark mode turned on in my, in my Microsoft uh, Office. So 
it looks like I have a black page, but don't worry. When this is saved out, let me bring up the PDF here for a minute. This is the resulting PDF that doesn't show the page in dark mode. So as a comparison, here is the quick reference card I created with the larger font versus 2022. So you can see the difference there in the size of the font, um, given the relatively same size of the page. So beside the larger font, why else would you want to use this document instead? Uh, the main thing is basically it's, it's customizable. One, you can change the font. You can add or remove commands. You can customize the ones that are there. You can add in ones that you've added in yourself. And you'll be doing that with the Word documents. Let me just pop that one up again here for a second. So I will include both of these in the links below as well. There'll be a link to the Word doc and a link to the PDF. So if you are going to do any editing, it's probably safest to edit the Word document and then save that out as a PDF. And the PDF is what you'll take to your printer for printing of this uh, reference card. Uh, sure, you can do it yourself. If you have a, a color printer, you can print it off. And you may even have a laminator that you can uh, then laminate them by yourself. Uh, myself, what I did is I took this down to my local Staples, uh, which is the same as an Office Depot or Office Max. Uh, they do printing for, for business. Uh, had it printed off, two, two copies of this per page. And then uh, obviously full color and then laminate it afterwards and this is the result i get so not a huge card it would wouldn't be bad if it was a little bit smaller but the size is decent uh the font is legible the only complaints i have about this is sharp corners so what i would have done or i will do next time is i would i would round off these corners laminate it and then round off uh, the lamination as well and then you'd have a a nice reference chart uh, the only thing being uh, we've got the back where we can put a lot more information about something so you could put your own tap drill charts in the back here um, there's lots you can download from the internet and depending on which one you like the most you could put that as page two and print this off now what did this cost um, the print off for a color page was like a buck uh, the lamination was about two bucks so three dollars throw in our, our taxes and it was about you know 350 or 375 or something like that for for two again i could have printed on the back here it might have cost me 50 cents more so for under five bucks i could get two of these completely customized uh to my own liking now again if your reseller has got these things on hand you can get them for free that's always better but hey this one at least you can customize make the font bigger change the font style take out commands you don't use put in your own customized commands that you may have uh, made getting to wrapping this video up here i just wanted to put on a couple more things here so end of the video bonus bonus content right uh in case you didn't know keyboard shortcuts if you aren't sure if a particular command has a keyboard shortcut assigned to it you can hover over that command and that uh, tool tip that pops up will not only say the function's name but if there is a keyboard shortcut associated with it it will be listed there so circle center point you can see there's nothing there if I go over to trim to entities, notice it's got a shift T. So it's got the keyboard shortcut assigned to it. So if there's a particular function that you're not sure if it's got a, an associated keyboard combo yet, you can always just hover over it and have a peek. Now keep in mind, this works for both default and customized options. So if I was to go in and create a shortcut for create letters, to do that, we'll right click on the white space, customize ribbon, customize keyboard shortcuts, and I'll come down to all commands. Seem to be the easiest way to find it. And once the commands load, I'll just scroll down to create letters. Go to the new shortcut key combo. I'll do something obscure here. Control, Shift, Alt, Z. So this was unassigned previously. This is now assigned to create letters. I'll click assign, close, okay. Let's go and hover over create letters again. And notice it now shows up my custom keyboard combo that I just created. So that's gonna wrap this video up. Again, hopefully you find these things useful. Links will be below to do the Word docs, the PDF docs, plus the original uh, document that's included with Mastercam as well. And uh, just a quick thank you from our last video. Everyone that commented and took part, uh, much appreciated. That was pretty fun reading through all the random guesses. Uh, but I'm really surprised no one guessed this number. Uh, but yes, we did select a few winners. Their t-shirts were shipped out. Uh, so hopefully everyone's got those. Uh, and put them underneath their tree as a, as a nice Christmas present. If you do have questions or comments, feel free to post them uh, down below. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.